Okay. Now, this is actually a little bit short here, but now we're just looking um, a little bit deeper at the consumer equilibrium. We know that graphically, that equilibrium looks like this. That mathematically, we know that from video number two. We know mathematically from video number four, we know that it looks like like this, which is our slope of the indifference curve. equal to our slope of the budget constraint. And all we're saying here is that we re the terms and we get this. Now, all that I want to talk about and the reason why I made this fifth video is that it helps us kind of review the two different ways that we have of understanding equilibrium existing, or again, we're saying equilibrium, we're saying the optimal choice. But I just wanted to expand on something further that I ended video number four with, which was that if it looked like that, question becomes, what should you do? And we basically said that you should buy more vitamins. We said that you should buy more vitamins because you would be happier per dollar spent. As you buy more vitamins, The marginal utility you get from vitamins falls because of the law of diminishing marginal utility. Which then causes them to be equal. on the other side. What should you do if the um, inequality goes in the other direction? Then we said that you should buy more keyboards As you buy more keyboards, the marginal utility falls, which we know from the law of diminishing marginal utility. And it falls until the two are equal again. So it's kind of like supply and demand where the price is too high or too low and then the price changes based on shortages or surpluses until the price equal, reaches the equilibrium. 
it's kind of the same sort of adjustment process, except here, the thing that's now changing is the marginal utility, which changes because we're buying more of the product. Why are we buying more of the product? Because if I had an extra dollar, I clearly would get more marginal utility or happiness from every dollar I additionally spend on vitamins or from keyboards.